Oh boy. Nice, uh, nice hit detection on those mountains. I've pointed that out before. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's up? We're doing another night of this. This should be the final night of it, actually. And it is, because I'm playing it until I've beaten it. <laughs> Let's move that over there real quick. Oh, excuse me. So last time, we did a bunch of dungeons. I got the rusty sword, which currently does nothing. Uh, that doesn't need it as that. I need the star. And uh, we're going to find a way to turn that rusty sword into the Excalibur, because, you know, why not? It's a Square Enix game, so of course, that's what happens. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. I better just equip this, honestly, and keep it on. Yeah, th this is gonna be a pain, because this is gonna stop me every room, isn't it? So, what do I got in my items, actually? Next seat, there's an elixirs. Alright, that's fine. If I can find a place that sells keys, I'll buy another set of them. A weapon shop. This is Thunder, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had tuna salad for lunch, so throat's a little, uh, a little fucky, but I'm all right otherwise. So, not much happened between yesterday and today. It's just kind of, you know, normal day. Did my chores. Cleaned up. All that unfun stuff. Now, if I recall, I didn't go up here. There's a path to the... up. To the north. Um, that I didn't take yet, because, oh, maybe not, since that's further back. That's a dead end. The weird thing is that this area of the map, even though it doesn't actually end, like, the, the map loops, but it's weird because they put, like, the middle of an area in, a lo in the looping spot. Ether. Those X Ethers don't actually refill a hell of a lot of uh, health. They refill a very modest amount of health. I, I, I might as well stop getting on the Chocobo because we're going to have to hear that annoying five second sting constantly. Or maybe now I can. Um, maybe I didn't skip an area. Can't go over there. Oh no, I... Wait, no. What? Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't go to the right while I was here. That could be the problem. this way yet. I remember seeing this area before, but not going through it when I was on the, uh, Chocobo. Chocobo. This 
bird legs. They really could jump. Also, before I do anything else, uh, after I leave this area, I'm gonna find that cave that I entered and then died in immediately last time. Oh, it's just a house, probably shop, right? The weapon? What we got ice and ice. Well, whatever. This game's getting put on ice tonight. That's a pretty uh, decent bump in defense power. Again, I'm playing this very evenly. I'm buying all the new equipment as I come across it, and I'm, uh... Just leveling up power and wisdom so that the two stats, so that all my stats just go up evenly. Since every, every type of level up has a plus one to two stats, a plus zero to another, and then plus two to the remaining one. So I've just been doing power and wisdom, because then that evens out my stats every time. been over here. Yeah, that's where I came in. Oh, fuck. Alright. I, I want to utilize this, but that means getting off the chocobo. <laughs> Yeah, if you missed the last stream, my chocobo can walk on water. That's kind of the big end game upgrade for it for you. Which is like ridiculous. Like, you know, the other games you get like a flying dragon or something cool like that. And this it's not your chocobo could just walk on water. Yeah, like look, I looped all the way down to the bottom because I was up there before and I went up. So this part of the map, this section of the map right here just extends the entire map, I think from the top to bottom. Uh, we've been over here. I have to find where that cave is. Last time I found a cave, it was like up and to the left a bit from somewhere. And uh, when I reached it, I got killed immediately when I went in there. But it's important. I have to go there at some point, so I might as well do it now. I don't think that was the cave, was it? Yeah, I don't know anything about the uh, GBA version of this game. I don't know if they changed the map or if they made it better. I'm assuming they did, because this game has a lot of problems, which they could have easily fixed. Oof. Got caught in the edge there. This might be the area, actually. The enemies are all the later game ones, so it must be. Yeah, this is the area, because then I died one room in here. But it wasn't because I wasn't strong enough, it was just because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I might as well keep the flame equipped right now. So this dungeon's technically not optional, but you don't have to come here till later, but doing it now will save me trouble. 
Because then I don't have to backtrack a second time. Am I not... Am I not tired of this music? <laughs> Don't tell me that was the only room in this dungeon. It was. Holy shit. So I could have done this, like, way long ago. And fought this, I'm assuming, Lich. Because... Skeleton with the cape. Fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, so this dungeon isn't hard, it's just, you know, you have no health. that lightning magic more often. That's cool. Not that really matters much. Wait, why am I using this and not thunder? are a little weird with their hitboxes. Like, some will be, like... Oh, I thought that was splitting into other enemies. Defeated the Lich. Yeah, I was right. Like, some bosses, you could hit them anywhere, and some, like, you've only hit them in their head or in their feet. Received the magic book of Nuke. Learned Nuke. Well, that's cool. I can just fucking nuke shit now, I guess. So, it's another version of Fire? Yeah, it's just a more powerful fire that doesn't home, and it takes up 3 MP. Not terrible. Wait, where... I was gonna say, where was Nuke, but it, it doesn't... it's in the last slot, and I forgot that this game removes stuff from your menu if you're equipping it. But yeah, I got all the magic now. I do believe that that nuke spell is required. So having it now will make things a little quicker later. Now I have to go back to that ca uh, castle from before. So I gotta find the ice land. Yeah, this is the only game for tonight. Uh, depending on how quickly I finish it, the stream's just gonna end. I'm not gonna fill time or anything. Because I've already got a another three streams planned for next week already. And I did how many this week? I did two already. Yesterday's was only two hours, but honestly, might as well just count it. Yo, 
only way left is to reveal the Dime Tower. Dime Tower? In the Desert of Crystal? How? That sword will help you. Use it in the Cave of Ruins. You'll see it. This rusty sword has such a great power? The Sword of Legend shows its real power only when it approves of your using it. If you're a real Knight of Gemma, it will help you. But... I don't know if it... Don't worry. Now go. The Cave of Ruins is in the desert near Ish. Ask Dr. Bow Wow. He knows it well. Uh, alright. Oh, God. Yeah, alright, we gotta go back to Ish. am I at anyway? We haven't checked in a while. I'm at level 43. I've heard differing stories about what level you should be at the end of the game, but I've been told that like 40 is, is more than enough to beat it. Alright, so we gotta head back to that... Oh, right here, actually. Finally, there's a piece of crystal you can blow with Nuke in the Crystal Desert. Find it. So that's that's the clue. Well, that that's why I needed that dungeon done. I needed Nuke. So there's a crystal I can blow up with the Nuke spell, apparently. Some medieval monsters. Is it safe here? Let's see if there's any crystals that look different. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna have to. Ah, uh, so many of them. I've been here yet. I don't think I've been here. Monster Shop, X Ethers, and these. Maybe I have been here. Uh, I don't see any crystals that look differently. I would assume it's in the middle of the desert. This looks like it could be the room. But I also can't be sure. Well, alright, so there's no crystals that look different, which means it's just kind of a random shot in the dark here. This room looks like the most likely candidate. Let's get rid of these guys first. Okay, wasn't either of those. Wasn't that one. Wasn't that one. Neither of those. Neither of those. Wasn't that. And I'm out of MP.
Okay, I might be at this for a while. <laughs> God, dude, come on, I only bumped into you. You don't have to give me your whole life story here. You know what I should do? I should save, so I don't have to do this over and over. I could just reload my state with all the MP back. Nox, you're in the wrong stream. <laughs> Shell. No, no, no. You're 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 confusing it with the small shell. Okay, let's restart that. Maybe it's one of these what wall cr like barrier crystals. That would suck. Just watch both Movie Maker streams from Joel, those are killing you. I didn't watch any of those. I was, um, I've been really busy. Oh, is this crystal I'm supposed to shoot? Just call me Crystal Shootman. There it is. Yeah, I blew a hole in the ground. And now I'm gonna reload with all my MP. Good noises there. I did watch Vinny finish uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 last night and saw how it glitched during the credits. That was amazing. Oh, that would only happen to him. They're good if you want to get a look at the creative process beyond that video. The video itself is the blue shell incident. It's pretty amazing in itself. Oh. Man, I have not kept up with Joel a lot lately. I really haven't kept up with many streamers, honestly. Just It's just Vinny, honestly. Just because I've been... tired and busy and not able... Like, the thing is, Vinny stream... Vinny's the one who's most likely to stream when I'm free to watch him. Okay. Okay, that doesn't work. Ugh. Ugh. Also, you barely watch any Vine Saw streams live. I actually didn't watch last night's live because, um, I watched Critical Role on Thursdays. Also, wow, a dungeon that actually looks unique. And never mind. We had one room of unique, now we're just back to generic. Look at these spots on the ground. Oh, uh, they're just like ice panels. Is that a friggin' robot? Blim Sarathin from getting hooked on his streams. He streams a lot of... Does he stream a lot of Fallout? Because that was what I saw him stream when I went to his stream the other day. I don't really have a choice. I can't really stream that. Found Dragon. That's probably way better than ice, which I just bought. So 
Mostly Fallout, House Flipper, and sometimes Ark or some random game in between. I've never heard, I've never played a uh, House Flipper. You win a Jackbox streamy advertising FA. Oh, that's cool. Eh, eh. Yep. This dungeon definitely feels a lot less random than the other two. Or other two, other like ten. Found Thunder. Yeah. You love Dra Jackbox, especially Survive the Internet. I don't know if I've played that one. I've played, um... Oh, no, wait, no, Survive the Internet. Yeah, I've played that one. i played a lot of those games with my friends. Found the Dragon Sword. Ooh. It's me 100 power compared to the 90 of the, Dra the Thunder Lance. I might sell these soon, honestly. Can't sell the Rusty, though. So it's just another sword, which is unfortunate, because swords definitely seem to be the least useful weapon overall, just because of how bad their range is. They just have two attacks. That said, their moving special is pretty good. Nice. Power up. Oh, okay. That room, uh... See, it's, it's easy. Unlike Zelda, you know exactly where the walls are always going to be broken in this. They're only ever broken in the middle. Because of how this game is programmed. There's never doors that aren't aligned in the exact middle of each room. Not in Link to the Past. Well, I mean, it's different with every game. I'm talking about, like, early games. Like, going with the GBA, or Game Boy games. Um, the hell? I keep forgetting if I could kill this thing with weapons or not. But, like, in Zelda, in Zelda, uh, fuck. In Zelda, fuck. In, um, in Link's Awakening. And I, uh, and the two other Game Boy games, the Oracle games. The hidden walls could be, like, anywhere on a wall, as long as there's space. Same with doors. In this, it's very uniform. They used a very templatic setup. Zelda fuck for Nintendo Switch. I'm surprised we haven't heard anything about a new Zelda yet. I would have thought that we'd have gotten, like, a spin-off or something at this point, but... Nah, not yet. I guess the DLC actually took it out of them. Also, check this out. I got nuke. Just explodes. And apparently that's not good enough. Would you send me on Telegram? Dare I open it? Shell incidents. All right, that's you sent me the Joel video. I'll watch it after the stream. The stream might be very short, by the way. It depends. I'm going till I beat this game, and that's it. You'd love to see them get experimental with futuristic Zelda. I mean, I, those those concepts look kind of weird, but I would not be opposed to that at all. 
they, they have gotten, like, not modern, but they have advanced the technology in some Zelda games at some points. That was a waste. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing them go, like, full modern with it. It's weird, but, like, Spirit Tracks implies that there are movies, that there, there's, like, movies and television, even though you never actually see it. Hyrule Trek. So I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go, like, space travel. I would like to see, like, a m contemporary. Or slightly, slightly less than contemporary. Like that near-future chapter of, uh, Live Alive, where you play as the kid with psychic powers, but it's, like, technology is slightly more advanced because it's, like, 10, 20 years in the future. Okay, so there's damage panels all around there. Shadow Rumble with Zelda. Still hurt me. Oh boy. Is, it, is, this a, is this the Mantis Ant thing from Secret of Mana? I think it is. Wow, okay, I take back what I said with this, about the swords. This is ridiculous. Oh no, I didn't mean to use that one. does more damage. The, the the moving one. The stationary special is the uh is the spin. Oof, I got knocked on the thing. Oh yeah, it's the mantis ant. It's the chimera ant from Hunter Hunter. Hit nuke that on that. Hit that thing with nuke, rather. No. Not lightning. Not ice. do anything. I feel like those things are supposed to be affected by something, but I can't figure out what. Not that. Maybe the hammer? Or the battle axe, rather? Nope, not the battle axe. Chain. Uh, put Flex Seal into the water to build a bridge with the waterfall. I need to just drink Flex Seal and become a Flex Seal goo monster. This is called the Tower of Dime, so I don't know. I 
I already tried the scythe. I feel like I'm missing something here. Like, I, th I thought maybe, maybe it's because I'm hitting the switch in the wrong spot because this game's very wonky with the switches, but... Apparently not? Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I have to equip the rusty sword. There we go. Rusty sword released its mystical power. And like that, I'm outside of the Tower of Dime. Tower of Dime will appear somewhere in this desert. Wait, that wasn't actually the Tower of Dime? Fuck. Chocobot. To the healing station. Sword. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the other three items because they're not really that useful anymore. So that wasn't actually the Tower of Dime. The Tower of Dime is now accessible. Oh, come on, dude. I'm not... Fuck it. No, stop. Both of you, stop. Move. Get some help. Get McDonald's. Fuck. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. I feel weird selling the ice sword because I got that in a dungeon, but I guess we don't really need it. it the game will not let you sell anything that you need, so there you go. Unless it's reobtainable. Yeah, it's the Dower of Time. So there, I got the basic weapons, the rusty sword, and my str strongest weapon, which is the Dargan sword. Still need the Dargan armor, though. Got all eight spells. Got pretty good inventory going on here. Yeah, we're talking about magical weapons. They are magic. They were elemental, and they were strong, but I've already outclassed all of them. Please move. Most fun as a DM you would get is probably coming up with stupid magical items and weapons. I mean, that's part of the fun of playing D&D. Just coming up with dumb shit. So in theory, you'd be a terrible DM. No, not really. As long as the game's fun. Here it is. I had a feeling the tower would be here. My character is just looking at his watch while that was happening. He's like, come on now. Any day now. I am Marcy. I search relics. Dr. Bow Wow made me. Wait a minute, why are you in here if you were buried? He left me here. I waited 50 years. He forgot me. Oh, okay. I can help you. Take me with you. What do you do? I recover your MP. Oh! Oh! Free MP recovery. That means there's probably gonna be shitloads of uh, spell usage in this dungeon.
there's this one game in tabletop sim which is played with cards and stuff and I was once messing around with it with a friend like he played and I just drew location cards enemy cards whenever necessary and improvised I mean that's a pretty good way of like getting like an intro to DMing Ooh, these are new enemies Any sort of role-playing with, like, a kind of, like, set of rules, I guess. And, you know, basic HP setups and stuff like that. That's good, that's good practice for DMing. Uh-oh. The swords. That's a mana staple right there. Oh, so are these gauntlets. I need to waste that X-Ether. The tree of mana grows with the energy of nature. Maybe I need to do the energy of nature in this room. You know, so whenever you did that, things would end, end. Things would end up with you guys fucking the dragons, of course. Look, you want to know something? I've uh, in in at least one campaign, I've banged a dragonborn before, and it was awesome. All right, I don't think I'm actually supposed to do anything in this room. Like, the end of the session literally involved him becoming the Dragon King's bitch and surviving with 1 HP after being impaled. <laughs> it was something, but I can't say we didn't have fun. I mean, you know, as long as you have fun, that's the most important thing. People think that being a DM is like, oh, you have to do everything by the book. If, you're, if you don't, you're a bad DM. It's like, not really. Chances are most people you're playing with aren't going to fully know the rules either off the top of their head. So, if you want to just make shit up, then you make shit up. The rules are more of a guideline than anything else. No rule lawyering, exactly. Ah, it's not what I fucking saving that elixir for like the very end of the game. It's the only one I've come across so far. Wisdom up, 46. Wow, compare that to 102 damage from the Rusty from the Dragon Sword. Then again, I guess it only means that it just takes twice as many hits. <laughs> so 
Now this feels reminiscent of like of like an end game secret of mana dungeon. And now we're back to generic bullshit. This area is probably gonna be taking me forever too, because fucking you saw how long it took for it to rise. Water from the evil mana tree turns people evil. It is a vicious circle between energy and mana. Okay. One who touches the mana tree gets the mighty power. Okay. That would be a cool little mechanic for D&D. Let every character have some sort of hidden quest objective they have to accomplish that letting the others know. For example, the bard has to impregnate as many wenches as possible. The fighter needs to get as drunk as many times as possible. The rogue has to steal as many roses as she can, etc. I mean, that's... It's, it's interesting. It's also, like, I would say it's a good motivation for, like, character development. It could be a neat mechanic if done right. Oh no, I fell down. Fuck, I have to go all the way back now. Oh my god, get it out of my fucking way. I'm not in the mood to fight them now. <laughs> I can't believe that they're, they put- they throw enemies at you that are, like, resistant to everything. It was a dead end. It was a dead end. I wish I could just do that to move quickly, instead of just stop my, uh, my progress through a room. It's not getting old. The two types of dungeons in the world, the ones that contain loot and the ones that contain lewd. You know what? I just realized that that makes perfect sense, actually. I was like, that's that. I guess that kind of makes sense, but then I'm like, oh wait, no. I get the other kind of dungeon we're talking about here. <laughs> Look on the tablet. The evil force of people makes the tree evil. Alright. So in other words, energy of nature powers the mana tree, evil force of the people makes the tree evil, the tree thus in turns amplifies evil, and it makes a vicious cycle. A 
A great DM can combine them both. I mean, yeah. You're not wrong. I've never actually DM'd myself before. I wanted to try it, but then, like, I, want, I was going to do it earlier this year, and then stuff came up, and I just never bothered. Maybe if things get a little less hectic, I'll try it out at some point. Alright. Let's see where we stand here. Well, everyone, do you get DM a game over roll 20? Tell me. Uh, sure. I had like three people I was gonna run something with at once, but I never ended up doing it. I don't know how many of them would still be open to it. No, I don't care if your character's a weirdo. Most of the people I'm playing with would be weirdos. Okay, just don't fall down any pits and we'll be fine. Touches the mana tree, gets the mighty power. Alright, we already read that one. A couple rooms we haven't been in here, though. I'm tempted to look through them. Power is the Nintendo power. Yeah, it is. I used to read that magazine all the time. give a fuck since I have unlimited, uh, health. Wait a minute. There's a staircase down. Mm. I'm in here now. I'm back down on the ground floor. Ooh, this seems like a treasure room. here before? That's weird. Here. Don't really need that. Gotta be shitting me. Uh, 
have a feeling that this is only the beginning of the dungeon. We're gonna have more areas like this. Just remember, don't touch the black spots, because that automatically makes you fall down. Where'd you get that Pingu emote? Newt, newt. Rev? Oh. That's neat. Uh, I better save, because I'm going to forget to do it, and then I'm going to die instantly at one point. And then I'm going to hate myself forever. But since I saved, I've already avoided that problem. So there we go. Cure. Really not useful. Locked. X Ether. Your friend is a big Vine, so I was trying to keep talking about Rev stuff mostly when I mentioned that I was planning possibly to subscribe for lunch to switch over to Rev. He gifted me a sub. Oh, that's nice of him. If you, f if you only have a limited amount of subs, what you should do is switch it up each month. Ooh, did I already find the exit? I think I did. I mean, I probably should find the lore boxes, but does it really matter? Uh, I don't think it does. We'll, we'll, we'll look for him a bit. Oh, come on, really? Found dragon armor. Ooh, it's a good thing I went back. There's one channel you won't unsub to, and that's this one. Oh, thank you. Wait, are you subbed? I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were subbed. Oh wait, I could tell because you have the star. Wow, I'm an idiot. You, Izzy, and Lulz are my three main subs. It's a shame Lulz couldn't be here either, because he loves this game. This is like one of his favorite games, apparently. He actually streamed it earlier this year, but I didn't get to see that. I didn't want to spoil it. I appreciate it. I actually got my uh, Twitch payout the other day. Or today, rather. So I'm back down to zero in terms of, uh... Another x Ether. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have them. But yeah, I got my, uh, I got my Twitch payout today. Like, I got the email for it today, rather. Did you buy a burrito from it? No, I didn't. Theoretically, I've been spending it the whole year. And then I just kind of got made up for it. it. I pretty much had it... I'm considering it as covering all the Taco Bell trips... I- wait, what? My Xenoblade 2 code is here. What? We hope you're enjoying your game. Here's some download code for my Nintendo for some in-game items. This code- this will get you access to 15 legendary core crystals, 3 grilled grumbirds, 3 crispy blend shakes, and 3 clicky clicks. What the fuck? First off, I'm pretty sure I have that game registered to my br- uh, maybe- maybe not. Maybe you didn't take the points. Maybe it's because I took the points on it that, uh... That uh, I'm getting those items. Well, I'll give that code to Mark in case he ever wants to replay it. Three char grilled grumbirds. Yum. Oh look, a lore, a lore tablet. Neat. So it was worth coming back here, because I got the dragon armor. Gemma Knight with rusty sword will be tested. The true Gemma Knight should be given the legendary sword. Excalibur. That face, Jesus. Um, no, 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 but, um, yeah, so what what happens is, like, every other week or so, or every week, it's, it's like, it kind of averages, like, 1.5 weeks. Um, twice every three weeks, there we go. 
I'll end up going to Taco Bell and just like buying like a five dollar meal usually because I'm out already and I technically don't have the money but I'll consider that this payment that I got from Twitch to kind of cover that uh, what was I doing? I, I lost my train of thought here. Alright, there we go. So I got the lore about being the Gemma Knight. Which we still never really- they never really explained it. Twitch taco money, exactly. I- I got thrown off because I got that Xenoblade 2 code and I'm like, wait, I shouldn't be getting that, that's not mine. What happened was, I got it for my brother, and then I think what I did was I cashed in the gold points for myself. Which sounds kind of douchey, because I'm pretty sure my brother has a My Nintendo account, because he bought Mario Odyssey from the, uh, eShop. King of Vandal got the mighty power of mana. The only one who could stand against it is the Gamma Knight with the Excalibur. Why is it like if all the words are there, why are there why are there so many uh whatever they call them. Wow, I forgot. I fucking forgot what they're called. God damn it, really? So what if I didn't have any more keys? Ellipses, that's it. Dramatic breaks, yeah, no, ellipses though. That's what they're actually referred to as, the, the three dots. Bust that shit open. God, there's so much menuing in this game. It's no wonder that Secret of Mana brought in, like, a circle, the, the circle menu. The ring. Yeah, that tablet was written by William Shatner. Uh, okay. There's another staircase right here. Something tells me that there's gonna be a way to fall down here from the other ways. From going up. And that this is just kind of a diversion floor. Found an X-Ether. Yo, hold up, enemies. I'm just gonna take a nap real quick. I love how unnecessary that is, since there's- you have something that get unlimited MP. <laughs> it's a very silly game. Now this is odd. It doesn't open. So I need to use the battle to bust open the trees and then kill the enemies. Use Curious Cat often. I have one. I never, I never linked to it. I don't think I have my login anymore for it. Oh, maybe I have to kill all the trees. Or not? You do have one, but I do ask a lot of questions. Anonymous, of course. Eh, I mean, you know, they're fun. It's fun to answer questions. Uh, so what the fuck do I do here? Oh, maybe I have to knock these down and then shoot the thing over it. The ice spell. Fuck. There we go. 
because they're not considered pressing the switch down unless they're on top of it as a snowman. Makes perfect sense. In the logic of this game, at least. Do you have those emotes just ready to go, or do you type them out somewhere? Or, or No, you know what? We've had this conversation before. It's because your keyboard... It's because German keyboards allow you to type that shit out easily. Locked. Really? Oh, I hope there's no more than two locked doors left. First time I've heard that noise. The Vandal soon should fall. That's not worded right. We leave our last hope in the cave of the waterfalls. Glory to Vandal and to our child of hope. It's probably some obscure alt num code pad. Oh, okay. Oh, you just have a sight with them. All right. I do that too. I have I have a sight with some emotes that I use sometimes. All right, I think we're at the end. Garuda? It's a Garuda. It's a giant bird. It's a Garuda. Communist face. The fact that I have unlimited magic kind of makes this a battle a huge joke, because I could just do that, then I could refill, and then I could whack, whack, whack. Defeated Garuda. Tower lost its balance. Must hurry out. Come to speak of it, where's Izzy? Uh, I don't know. He probably just didn't see my stream notice. Or he's not home. Oh, no. I throw you. And I jump. Can you? Let's do that. He lied, by the way. Now, come on, Marcy. You have to save the world. You are the only hope. Oh, come on. We're going to lose another party member. And it's got to be the robot with the conscious. What are you talking about? Come on. I am unable to jump. What? I was made to work in here. And I sleep here. Marcy! See you sometime, kid. Aw, oh, that's sad. It's funny, like, the character I met for one dungeon I've had more attachment to in this entire game. <laughs> Than, than, like, half the other cast I've met. That tower literally just brought me back to the beginning of the game again.
Ever since that Smash announcement, Isabel Rule 34 went up by 20,000%. I can't scroll through three posts on Twitter. You gotta stop following loot artists. I don't follow loots on my main. Oh, this is an actual dungeon. Come on. Didn't I do enough of those today? only have a main. Yeah, that's true. You wanna know something? I have like five Twitter accounts. You're always horny on main, except you don't really show it. <laughs> don't get arrested for being horny on main. Everything's almost at 50. One more level and I'll be there. What the fuck? How come you only know two? I mean, uh, there's... You have a profession... I have, you probably have a professional when they give interview people. I do have one that's supposed to be, like, real life me, but I never use it. And honestly, I, I think I'm, I'm thinking of not... Like, at one point, just closing it down. Or just leaving it inactive. Um, I also have... Oh, I have six Twitter accounts now. Fuck, I forgot. I have an old account that used to be, like, an RP account for, for Pokemon. That I never used. And, uh... I have RT Your Bird, which is honestly where... Well, no. Originally, I was hoping that when I started streaming, I'd get, like, an, audi like, an audition... An audience from that account, because that account took off in popularity pretty quickly. But, uh, it kind of cra- it kind of, like, hit obscurity within a few months, so it was too late by then. But I still use it sometimes. And then I have another- I have two secret accounts that I don't really talk about. Oh, hey, I didn't know you- When did you get here? Two minutes ago. Neat. But yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six accounts. Uh, if you tell me about your secret accounts, I'll tell you about the secret meme. And that's not gonna work on me. That's my last key, so I hope there's no more. Jargon. A Dorgan. Uh oh. oh fuck no. Easy. Oh, because I used uh, the dragon sword. Defeated dragon. This feels very much like the last area of uh, Seiken and Setsu 3. Or no, it feels like the Mana Forest from the end of Secret of Mana. That's what it feels like. Because I have the dragon and now I gotta go forward a bit. Did you think about. And aching and 80 with mostly MC stuff because I'm like kind of a bit into that. Very much extreme. Alright, well, we're not going to talk about the fetishes here. You don't want to wait for approval from people to refollow you. I, I get that. I will say that I, the one locked account I have is definitely a lot less follower y than all my other accounts.
You're right, we shouldn't talk about fetishes. This is a Yoshi's Island stream. <laughs> Dare I ask what MC stands- Oh, mind control. I was like, what, what the hell does MC mean? Stands for your MC Hammer Pants fetish. Okay, well, fair enough. I'm sure there are lots of people into parachute pants. Found Exethier. Alright. Kind of below some of these Exethers. They're called parachute pants. I believe that's what the MC Hammer pants are called. I'm gonna do it in level here. I'm almost at level 49. random ninjas in this area. And elixir. Ooh, an elixir. Cool. That's my second one. How did the ninjas even get here? They were just born here. They reproduce asexually. Wait a minute. These areas aren't looping, are they? Okay, no. Oh, there's like two teleporters here. eat an extreme amount of food and split into two other ninjas. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a nintosis. Let me guess, I'm on the same floor, aren't I? Yep. I just had a feeling... Everything's an even 50 now. 50 stamina, 50 power, 50 wisdom, 50 will. Only my level is not 50. I'm back here. What the fuck? Ah, uh, these areas are gonna go in circles, aren't they? Locked. 
I don't have any more keys. How has Skunk Timber been for you so far? I don't do Skunk Timber. I do Frog Tober. Come on, man. You've known me long enough. Skunk Timber. <laughs> Sorry, you're spotty right now. I don't worry about it. It's cool. But you'll be watching. Alright, thanks. I appreciate it. Look, all... You know what it actually is? It's every month and doesn't end in burr. It, does, it ends in bird. So it's September, October, December, November. Yes, everything is bird. Frogtober, it's not Foxtober. That makes no sense. It doesn't even. Well, I guess Frogtober just makes as much sense in the end. Alright, maybe if I go back through the one thing over there. Body the sword is with landing a, a hit. All right, so these just loop. It's Feb Burr area thing, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a burr, so. here, there's only two places I haven't gone, and I can't because I don't have a key. At least one key might be. What kind of joke are you about to make? You check the fridge. No, it's under the crib. here again.
Okay, really though, how do I get more keys? <laughs> Okay, well, now I'm level 50. Secure. Once lost your keys and you were ultra panicked. Uh... I would be upset if I lost my keys, because my key ring is really neat. It's a Courage Badge from Mother 3. That was shortly after you moved to your, to your own place. Oh, yeah, that would have been bad. game, I was like, oh, I don't need any more keys. I'm fine. But nope. Nope. I had to make that dumb decision. And now there's no keys. At some point, your mom came over and tried helping you, and so she told me to first sit down and take a deep breath. So, so I do that, and I guess my fat ass was- guess what your fat ass was planted on? Oh, uh, you were sitting on your keys. Well, at least you found them. Hey, it's better than nothing. The keys stuck behind the cushion. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I'm up here now. So do the locked doors where I have to go. Nice, maybe have key on you. Key, please, key. Unicorn, great. You found an entire unicorn in that chest. Yeah, I did. Is there any way to bypass a locked door?
Oh, really? Alright, well, there's no skeletons in this fucking dungeon. I'm gonna have to leave and get keys. That's, that's such a load of beans, but whatever. this. Have you been in this one yet? Locked all around me. <sighs> These dudes are starting to get on my nerves. These beeps and boops. Oh, there's a skeleton. Maybe he'll drop a key. Gotta find it for me later. Alright. There we go. I didn't have to leave after all. Though I should probably get another set just to be safe. Yeah, these skeletons drop their bones and that's the key. Though that's actually not true because there, there is actually a bone key that you get earlier in the game. Okay, good. I have eight keys. There's no way I'm going to lose all of these now. I still need one to open this door. Oh, for that enemy glitched through the wall and still hit me. Jinxed it, how? Okay, now we can properly continue our adventure. At least now I know what to do. No way I can lose all these keys. I just have to make sure to go through each locked door only once. I leveled up, and it's EYE leveled up. Because I killed an eyeball. Okay, I'm in a different area at least. officially over two streams this week. Oops. Let me guess this door doesn't open. Alright. 
I think I know what to do here. There we go. Neat little puzzle. It's a shame that they don't do that more often in this game. Like, the puzzles are usually... Well, I guess, I guess the Switch puzzles last uh, stream infuriated me. But they seem to be very rare in this game. This game does not rely a lot on puzzling. Oh, time for another boss battle. Boss battle. As I just said it. It's another dragon. Yeah, the Mana series in general doesn't have a lot of puzzles. I feel like Sigan and Setsu 3 and Secret of Mana didn't have a whole lot of them. But again, this game was very much supposed to be like kind of a Zelda-esque game. So I guess they figured we gotta throw in a few of them. Though come to think of it, Zelda 1 doesn't really have any puzzles either. They were all combat-focused. And this definitely came out before Link's Awakening. Children of Mana basically abandoned puzzles altogether. Which Children of Mana? Which game is that? Is that the PS1 game? Because I'm going to play that next year. The one for the DS, oh. Defeated Red Dragon. How am I supposed to tell it's red? Mindless hacking and slashing. Uh, that's kind of a shame. I just realized, I don't think bosses give you experience in this game, because I've never leveled up off of one of them. And I co-op, so there's that. Yeah, but I mean, most of the Mana games have co-op. Secret of Mana and Sinkin and Setsu 3 have co-op. thought that room was signaling the end, but apparently not. sword. Ooh, another elixir. Perfect. I'm, I haven't used one, but I believe that refills your health and mana at the same time. Or I hope it would. It's a jape room. Full of japes. dark is. It, it does not do anything. It never darkens the screen enough for it to be a problem. Oh, 
Oops. down here. Another warp point. Can let me get on the thing? This year you're assembling a list of cool people with skunk sonas. And you think you might have missed some. I only know a couple, honestly. I know way more birds than anyone else, which is awesome. And I don't mean more than I don't need I know more birds than other people. I know more birds, people with bird sonas. Than, uh, than any other kind of animal. Azure? I don't know who that is. See, like, I, I don't know a lot of, like... I might not know a lot of people that are popular, but I know people. <laughs> well, I think I'm going the right direction because I'm under where I was before. Blue dude. I know Alder, the one that does all those animations... He's pretty cool. I think. I mean, I know him. I don't know him personally. <laughs> I probably know an Azure, though. At least one. There's probably a, bil a million of them. Awesome. Level 52, I believe, right? Yep. Alright. just this one square right here. Skunk Hypnotist with the blue stripes. I don't know him. I did save, right? Because I'm, I'm about to reload here. Again, really wonky with how those switches work. They just kind of either work or they don't work. I'm exactly 299 health. It's kind of lame. Oh god. This is not a good room.
Oh god, it's a bone dragon. So I killed two, and then there's a two-headed bone dragon. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Multiple dragon boners. <clears throat> this is what happens when you fuck the dragons. Dragon zombie. Neat. I think we're finally at the end. Look, it's the upward climb from a, uh, or it's the it's the upward walk from Magicant and Earthbound. Why there's still enemies? Found unicorn. I believe unicorn just heals you from ailments. This is total. Wait, what? This is totally from the uh, the secret of mana. This is totally the mana forest area. You have been a great knight of Gemma, I see. I shall give you the Excalibur. Now, defeat Julius. Received Excalibur. And the rusty sword's gone. And this gives me another 29 damage. Nice. Still didn't get the dragon helm, though. Same as any other sword, just, uh... I guess less, um... Less weak. Excalibur 2097, no. I, I still haven't tried that game. Are there elephants in the last area? Or is this not the last area? I'm not sure. I guess. Ooh. Or Aegis. It's probably even better. Mana. You're late, Mike. I already got the greatest power of mana. The tree or the person? The time has come for the Empire Neo-Vandal. Now that I have the mighty power, I do not need you anymore, Mike. Oh god. Defeated Julius. With only a period afterwards. See the true power of mana now. Up, it's the second boss theme.
Yeah, I have the true power of mana, being able to spam cure nonstop. Exactly. It's over. Mike. Are you okay, Mana? I defeated Julius. It's all over. No, it is not. Yeah, I figured not. Mike, you will never leave here alive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I save in the middle of this battle? Absolutely destroyed. Oh, the tree's gone, though. The mana tree disappeared. Oh. What am I supposed to do? Mana, my dear. Mom? Oh, right, it's her mother. <laughs> She was the one who gave me the Excalibur just a minute ago. Now that the mana tree is lost, we need... Oh, now it's uh, manual. How does one get tier 2 emotes? Uh, you have to do a tier 2 sub, which is twice as expensive. <laughs> Essentially, $5 sub gets you one emote, $10 sub gets you two, and then $25 or 20 gets you a third one. Yeah, it just costs more. It doesn't even get you the sub longer, either. It's just a one-month sub that costs more. It's if you want to essentially support someone more. You could pay more and get other emotes. I have two sub- I have two emotes, but I never expect anyone to do the su tier 2 sub. That's why I make the emote of me the tier 1 sub. And the tier 2 sub is just a- a, a Mimi Fawful emote. Now that the mana tree is lost, we need... A new Gemma of the Mana Tree. What do you mean by Gemma, exactly? New tree? Remember what I told you? We are the seeds of the Mana Tree. Oh, this is just like in the last game. This is just like in Secret of Mana. We will be called a bud called Gemma, and we become... We will be a bud called Gemma, and we become a tree. And the Gemma Knights fight to guard it. Wait, so is it implied that the girl from this game... No, no, this... this eh, I don't know. I was gonna say, it's not implied that the, the girl from this game is the mother of the character from Secret of Mana, right? Uh... Not po po Is it Popoy? No, it's R Randy. Randy's mother was the spirit of the Mana tree, right? You think emotes would be a little cheaper for affiliates? Nah, affiliates kind of are just another way for Twitch to make money. They, they don't really... It, do, it doesn't really help the person doing the streaming at all. And the Gemma Knights fight to guard it. 
Alright, so the seed of the tree is called the Gemma, and the Gemma Knights are those who protect the tree. Makes sense now. I became the Gemma last time we lost the tree. That tree? Was it you? Yes, Mana. But you are the last member of us Mana family. To preserve the Mana tree, we need you to stay here and become the Gemma. But, Mana, nobody else can decide for you your life but yourself. Wait, what are you looking at me for? I will, Mom. I will be the new tree of Mana. God, this te text crawl is so painfully slow. But if I am the last one left, when I fall... Yes, that will be the end of the peace. There's a guy named Gemma in Secret of Mana, that's true. Bye, Mike. Please go. I must stay here. Don't worry. I will be here as long as... You guard me. From the evil. And we killed all the evil. The Dark Lord and Julius are dead. Mike, please guard my daughter. You are the only Gemma Knight for the tree now. This took me exactly 10 hours to beat, almost. Well, not ex again. Ex what's wrong with me? I will be withering soon. Please tell my Gemma Knights that I said... Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. And thanks to them. That was just gonna be like, bye. Because of, of the way this thing is written. Goodbye. Mana. Mike. Goodbye. Mana. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mana. If this Mana is possibly Randy's mom, so wouldn't that make the main character of this game Randy's dad? And Randy is half tree? Gemma, the guardian of the peaceful land. The new Gemma must not be lost ever after. We all must keep it forever. Any female child that could have meet the same fate of being a tree. Or is that not how the lore is? I don't know. And you, Mike, are the only Gemma Knight now. I think this is a separate world entirely. It just uses a lot of themes. Just stumbled across the 1993 American commercial for Secret of Mana. The feels. What racial bonuses do you get for being half-tree? Uh, photosynthesis. You just absorb nutrients through the ground. Man, these characters have weird dialogue at the end of the game. That was pretty good. Um, you know. After playing both Secret of Mana and Seiken and Setsu 3, this game definitely feels older and not the same. But, uh, I think I honestly enjoyed it more than Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana, towards the end, became really grindy and not too good. Having to level up your weapons and your magic separately were all really bad. And also, I just felt like the game became like a slog at the end. It became, it became just way too much grinding. Like, even, even beyond the fact that you have to do the grinding, to, to the fact that there's so much of it, when they could have alleviated it, is what annoys me. That's the brother whose uh, sister we killed. Whose ability is that he could change the music from one repetitive dungeon theme to the other repetitive dungeon theme.
You don't blame me with Secret of Mana. It's a shame because I was really excited when they announced the remake and then the remake ended up not being all that great, apparently. Oh, I released my Chocobo to be with another Chocobo, even though this Chocobo is like half machine. Sword of Mana was bad, really? Because I'm, I'm honestly... I don't know if I'm going to do that next year, but I was planning on playing Sword of Mana at some point, which is a remake of this game on the GBA. The end. And she became a, a sprout. It had some good music, though. The remake? Uh, the remake, yeah. The, some of the, re the remake's music was hit or miss. We had that conversation last time with all the unnecessary classes and stuff. All right. Yeah, nothing happens here. Oh, your time isn't actually recorded. <laughs> so that's it. I'm stuck in this battle forever. I can't do anything else. Whatever. It was a nice game. It was a, it was a fun, quick little game. It took me ten hours, just over or under, I don't know. Around it. It was a ten hour game. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna stop here. I know it's only been two hours, but uh, again, this is kind of like just a bonus to yesterday's stream. Uh, I will do three streams next week, three full ones. In fact, my first stream next week is gonna be on Sunday, day after tomorrow. And it's going to be during the afternoon, since, you know, Sunday streams are always earlier. Um, and then that'll start the next game I'm going to play for probably the next three streams or so. I think it's about the same length. It's going to be about 9 to 12 hours to play through that game once. I'm going to start on Sunday. Um, I've already said a few times what it is, but, you know, if you don't know, then all I'm going to say is... Bring your Game Boy Advances, and bring your sunglasses, and some sunblock, because you're going to need a lot of it. But, uh, yeah, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it, as always. Uh, hope to see you guys again real soon. If not Sunday, then during the week. But, yeah, uh, thanks, thanks, you guys. You have a great evening, and thanks for... Yeah, you, f you figured it out already. You figured out the game. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for coming. Really appreciate it, and, and thanks for sticking around. And, and talking to me, because it always makes the stream more interesting when people are around to talk to. Otherwise, I just kind of, you know, fumble around my own scattered thoughts, which are hard to put into words, because I'm not, I don't think, like, good person. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys. You have a great evening. Good night.